Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Jessica. And on this channel, we make a lot of Dollar Tree DIYs, but they are always really easy to recreate and a lot of fun. But I also love to share home decor as well as holiday decor and holiday inspired DIYs. So if that's something you're interested in, please do consider subscribing down below. So let's jump right into the first high end Dollar Tree DIY. So I'm starting off with two of these boards from Dollar Tree. So I found these in the crafter square. They usually have a couple of different varieties. Any of them will work for this as long as they are the plain ones that don't have the shape cut out at the top. So I'm also going to be using some craft sticks and these are also found in the crafter square at Dollar Tree. So the first thing I want to do is just go ahead and cut those strings off the top. We're not going to need them and we will be covering up those holes later on in the DIY. So now I'm going to go ahead and just flip my boards over, make sure I line them up and then I'm going to be using my popsicle sticks to hold them together. So you can use a lot of different objects for this, but I found that the popsicle sticks work great. I have used similar boards like this from Dollar Tree in the past to make larger ones by using this method. So I like to just hold them together, use my hot glue, and I do like to use a sturdy hot glue. So I'm gonna be using my Gorilla Hot Glue Sticks, and I'll be sure to link those down below for you guys in the video description box. So after I hold my boards together nice and tight, I glue one on each side. That way it just gives me a good base. And then I'm going to go ahead and just add more of those popsicle sticks along the entire seam. That way these boards are really sturdy and held together well. For this DIY, I really love the black background. It's going to make this one pop. But if that is not your color palette, you can definitely just paint these when you're done putting them together. Spray paint would work great for this, or you can even use something like chalk paint. So next I'm going to be adding this wall decal from Dollar Tree. So they have a lot of different decals. Be sure to check them out. But I saw this one and I thought it was just such a beautiful print, but I wanted to find a way that I could elevate it and turn it into a DIY. So all you have to do with this map is just peel it off. It is two pieces and they are going to line up together really well. So I peeled off my first one here. And these actually are made to be able to kind of come off the wall and reposition. So if you stick it on and it's not exactly right, don't worry, you can still maneuver it a little bit. So with my first one, I didn't really push it down the full way. I just kind of stuck it where I thought I wanted it, got my second piece to line it up. And then that way I could maneuver it around a lot easier. And when I was happy with the placement, then I went ahead and just fully pressed it onto the board. So next I'm going to be taking some burlap lap ribbon from Dollar Tree. This one was just in their floral department and I'm going to be cutting two pieces for each side of my board. I thought that this would just be a nice way to finish the ends of the board, but also to cover up those holes from the twine that we cut off earlier. So I just made sure it was long enough to fold over the back. And since this is burlap, the hot glue will seep through so it can be a little bit dangerous for your fingers. So I do like to use a spare popsicle stick just to push it down into the hot glue to make sure it's nice and secure, but also keep my fingers safe. Here's a closer look at how it turned out. I really love this DIY. It is large and substantial. I think it's such a pretty print and this would look great hanging on a wall. You could easily hang it up by just using some Velcro command strips, but this one is definitely a fun DIY to try out. This next DIY was actually inspired by a DIY that I did a couple videos back, but today we're going to make it a little bit different. So I love this large plastic platter from Dollar Tree. It's a great size to DIY, but I just want to switch up the color. So I'm going to take it outside, give it some spray paint. I am using a flat white matte spray paint here, and I am just going to focus on the edges on the front, but then I will be covering the whole back. Not too worried about the middle of my board because we are going to be covering that up. I grabbed three of these peel and stick metallic tiles from Dollar Tree. They do have a bunch 
bunch of different patterns for these as well. So be sure to check them out. These are great for a backsplash if you just want something temporary to put up, but they also do work great in DIYs. So that is what we're going to be using these for today. We're going to be creating a beautiful base for our tray here with these removable tile stickers. So to start off, I'm just taking my first tile and placing it onto my tray here. You do want to try and line it up perfectly the first time if you can, because they are a little hard to remove. And when you do kind of peel them up, it will take the paint with it. So for my second one here, I wanted to make sure I lined it up so that pattern was uninterrupted, but it was a little bit long. I thought it would be easier to cut like this, but honestly, if I could redo it, I would just cut my tile before I lay it down. So leave it on the paper, don't peel off the backing, and I would just measure it first and then cut after. That's what I am doing here. It just makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and just measure my tile first and then trim it while it's still attached to that backing. So once I had it the proper length, I went ahead and cut it. And for this part here, you do just want to try and line it up. And as long as you line it up, the pattern matches really well. And to cover up the bottom of the tray, I just cut out two rectangles from my third removable sticky tile. And that way I had enough to cover up my whole tray. And here is how it turned out. I think that these removable tiles are so fun to use. They really do make a big impact in a DIY. And it's definitely something fun to try and different. For this DIY, I'm going to be using three of these gold 5x7 frames from Dollar Tree. They also have these in black if you prefer that color, but either would be great for this DIY. I'm also going to be using these removable wall stickers. Now, you might be seeing a bit of a theme in today's video, and that's honestly just because I was so inspired by the different prints they had for the wall stickers. They're really beautiful, they have a really great variety, and they are so fun to use in DIYs. So for this DIY, all you have to do is go ahead, open up your frame and take out that insert. We're going to be using this as our template. And I do have some cardstock paper here. You could just use regular paper, but the cardstock does hold up a little bit better. So I'm going to use my template here just to cut my paper to size. Next, I'm going to grab those removable wall stickers and pick out my three favorite ones and add them to the paper. So these are going to fit the paper perfectly. I was so happy that they were not too large, not too small. They honestly just seem like they are perfect for these frames. And like you saw, I did cut my paper to be the full size of the template. So these frames are meant to fit a five by seven photo with the matting, but by just filling up the entire frame, it makes your art print look a little bit bigger and we don't need that matting at all since it is going to fill up the entire frame. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put everything back together. And that is how simple this DIY is, but it is a really fast and easy way to get some really beautiful wall prints very inexpensively. And I do love these decals because they do have a beautiful shimmer to them. There's a gold effect on them that just looks really pretty in person. And it definitely makes us look way more high end than something from the Dollar Tree. This next DIY is my favorite from this video because it just looks so elegant. So I'm going to be using two of the glass vases from Dollar Tree and two of their glass candle holders. These are long time Dollar Tree staples. They usually have these all year long. So the first thing I want to do is just make sure to remove that sticker on the bottom of my glass and you want to make sure it is nice and clean. So your glue has a good surface to adhere to. And now I'm going to be using some E6000 glue. You want to use a really good, strong, permanent glue for this. And E6000 is my favorite. I have pieces that I've made like this from years ago that have held up beautifully. So all I did was just add some of the glue to my candlestick and I'm going to be gluing it to the bottom of my vase. Another great thing about this glue is it does not set right away. So if you need to move it around at all, if it's not centered, you definitely have a little bit of time to kind of adjust it before it sets. And you do want to let these sit at least a few hours or overnight before you move on to the next step. That way the glue has time to harden up. 
So now that these are nice and dry, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate them with these beautiful gold leaf stickers. Each set comes with three, so I went ahead and picked up two here because I did wanna add a gold leaf to the front and back of each vase. I was just so in love when I saw these. They have the most gorgeous shimmer to them and I knew they would be perfect for a high-end DIY. So these are really easy to work with. All you have to do is just remove it and add it to the glass. And these are removable stickers, so if you need to readjust it, you definitely can. So I had to kind of play with it before I got the placement right, but I had no issue whatsoever pulling it up and replacing it and putting it back down. These gold leaf stickers actually have a clear background, which makes them absolutely perfect to use on glass because it just makes it look like it is part of the design and it does not stand out. It just really blends in so nicely. So here are my two vases when I was done and you can of course use these for flowers, but I had a different idea in mind. I thought that these would be the most beautiful candle holders. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add in some of my flameless candles. Another idea I had though was to add some sand to the bottom and add a smaller candle on top. I think that would be absolutely beautiful as well, but I really do think it has a high-end look to it and is definitely my favorite from this video. And that is everything for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these high-end Dollar Tree DIYs. If you did, please let me know down below which one was your favorite. And if you did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Thank you so much for watching. To subscribe to my channel, you can just click on my picture right here.